I'm in touch with several public universities and they are teaching online. Everything, absolutely everything is online. There's nothing face to face. Okay. Uh, Yasin, uh, Yasin Hassan, I want to come to you. Uh, just to give yeah. us a brief about, so Dubai or United Arab Emirates is not uh, that highly affected. Uh, there are around uh, some cases. Uh, we have around 3,000 uh, 3, some cases. cases there in Dubai. So if you can yes. give us the stock of uh, what is the situation in Dubai. See, Dubai, uh, the issue is that Dubai is a connecting hub. Connecting hub of the world. You know, we have three major airlines. Uh, Emirates, Etihad, and Air Arabia. These are the three national airlines of UAE. And basically, because of that, we get attracted a lot of foreign visitors to our country. And because of that, we cannot stop people coming into our country because it's a commercial hub as well. But the government of uh, UAE has acted very wise from the moment itself. Uh, they kept the screening uh, centers in the airport itself. As of now, they have started 80 plus screening centers. Remember one thing, we have just uh, 10 million population, including expats and the uh, locals. So with this uh, 10 million, below 10 million population, we have 80 plus centers. And all the Emirates, we have seven Emirates in UAE, which is like different countries uh, with the federal government system. All the Emirates have free testing drive-in centers. So the thing is that rates are going because of this rapid testing centers. You get the results in a couple of hours maximum. So that's in one side. Another side, every mission of different countries, because we have 200 plus, uh, 200 plus nationalities living in this country. So every mission is active. They are taking care of their you know, uh, diaspora. And they have been having separate quarantine centers. The five-star hotels have been converted as quarantine centers. Mm -hmm. If you take, for example, in UK, as far as I know, 18% uh, is the mortality rate uh, out of the cases registered, 18 plus. But in UAE, it is 0.5%. This is because of the early movement, which is the government have uh, you know, put forth for the people of this country. And it is the city is almost locked down. Only the essential service people are working now. And they'll be slowly relaxing uh, one by one, not to get affected the common man. Uh, everything has been taken care of here. The, the medicine, uh, the food has been delivered to the home. There is absolutely no issues. Everything is controlled. And the government is, you know, observing day by day. And that's what happened. Apart from the, here, uh, I'm assuming from a state called Kerala. Basically, I'm a Keralaite, which is a South Indian state in mm -hmm. India. And I'm a resident of uh, UAE, a permanent resident of UAE since 23 years. Uh, Kerala is, has been, everybody has been hearing about Kerala. Those people who know, uh, you know, what is Kerala is about. Right. Kerala is a model now for India. We have been containing it. We have approximately uh, 35 million people living in Kerala. And uh, everything is in control. As of today, because of the state government actions, along with the central government, they could able to, you know, control the situations very well. Right. And that's a good news for us. So I believe uh, very soon the world will come out of this crisis, one by step by step. It's a difficult time for all of us. Uh, along with other people across the world, we will also come out of our problems. Absolutely. Uh, I'll come back to you with a lot of questions because you are in the healthcare sector, providing necessary health support to the uh, sure. uh, country, to the most important country. I want to come to Professor Ujjal K. Chaudhary. Tomorrow prime, at 10 o'clock, Prime Minister will address the nation. And there are a lot of speculations, but there is one thing established that the lockdown would be extended till April uh, 13th because six states by now have extended their lockdowns, state lockdowns. And the center will come up with uh, similar things. Can you give us an account of how far or how do you see this lockdown is going to impact the economy and impact the uh, society as a whole? Yeah, if you can unmute yourself. Uh, before getting into that, I will have some facts and figures for you. Yeah. Uh, so we have Spain here and UAE already talked and now we are raising India. Let me give a comparative figure. Spain has done 600,000 tests till today and the number is 12,833 per million people. That means for every 10 lakhs people, 12,833 rapid testing has been done. 
in case of uh, my friend from UAE, they have done fabulous, highest in the world, 65,538 rapid tests out of every 10 lakhs people. That's fabulous. And India, I know India's population is very high, but India has done 137 tests per 1 million. And if you compare with our neighbor, who's, whom are, who is often maligned rightly and wrongly by media as well, Pakistan has done 295 tests out of every million, which is more than double of India. So that shows whatever is the figure of India, which is around 9,500 patients now and 300 plus deaths, is a figure that could be a sugar-coated figure. It could be any number if the tests go up to 2,000 or 4,000 people per million. So that's my first point. Second point, yes, jaan bhi chahiye, jahan bhi chahiye. We need to protect our lives. We need to protect our livelihood as well. Life and livelihood both are important in a nation where more than half the population practically are at destitute level or little level of destitute level. So under this situation, there has to be a nuanced lockdown. The lockdown should not have been an adventurous one declared with four hours notice should have been two days notice, much of the pain would have been lesser. But now going ahead, you cannot all of a sudden take away the lockdown. When the figures have grown, when the lockdown was announced, we were not even 1,000 figures. Today we are close to 10,000. It's 10 times in, 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 in around 15, 16 days. So you cannot do away with lockdown at all. However, that does not mean that the whole economy has to be kept closed. So, like Stockholm has done, like Sweden has done, there could be nuanced lockdown. So, certain economic, uh, certain four sectors of the economy have to be opened up. That's for sure. And social distancing has to be enforced even there. I think to that extent, the government is taking uh, certain care. Fifteen, as you say, four sectors are being opened up. Yes, education, at least in Bengal, I know, no education institute will open till 10th of July. I think uh, 10th of June, sorry. I think that's what most of the states are planning, not before mid June. Even no entertainment, no congregation, either on religious or political reasons, and no gatherings should be allowed. However, businesses, at least the core businesses must go. Food, iron and steel, power, water services, farming, these have to, construction, these have to go. One, that they, they add to the GDP, Two, they give bread and butter to the masses, to the poorest people. So this must go. Certain other okay. things can, can be worked out. On. We, are, we are running almost education largely, at least in the urban areas, largely digitally. Rural education is being hampered for sure. And we discussed this in an earlier edition. But I would like to note here and I would like to appeal to the government. On one side, opening up 15 core sectors is good. On the other side, maintaining Social distance from the public side is important and much more important. Please dedicate minimum 5% of the GDP for the upliftment of the people at the grassroots. Minimum 5%. Now it is not even 1%. Five times or more of what has been so far dedicated, allocated has to be brought in. That's the demand before the government. Excellent. Please, I mean, I am I'm so unhappy to see more than 100 doctors and nurses have uh, tested positive. Why? Because they did not have the protective gear, the right gear that they should be given. A nation which is third or fourth largest economy of the world cannot give to its doctors protective gear. It's shameful. It's merely, it's, it talks how badly prepared we are. It's just shameful. Still the doctors are fighting from the front line, in the front line. We as society are failing. We as government are failing, but they are fighting on the front line. Okay. The we'll, bankers are fighting. Thank you so much. Uh, Professor Chaudhary will come back uh, again with all those issues. Professor uh, and Prashant Tandon, senior journalist, your opening comments uh, on two fronts. Pradhan Mantri, Prime Minister Narendra Modi would, is going to come tomorrow at 10 o'clock. And every time he comes, he gives a very surprise thing uh, for the country. Now the economy uh, needs a huge, economy is almost in the ventilator. It needs a huge support. As Professor Chaudhary indicated, uh, a couple of areas. Your opening statement on tomorrow: do's and don'ts. 
see, the, India is not only fighting with Corona. India is fighting with three viruses. And perhaps, you know, other two, other two viruses would be bigger than the Corona. One is, you know, we have so far, you can call it lucky, we can, you can call it, you know, uh, Corona's forgiveness. Yeah. That so far, uh, India has not been, you know, uh, having so much yeah. of loss of lives as you know, the entire world has witnessed. Uh, maybe some of the reasons, maybe we are the beginning. Uh, we don't know, we can't predict the, how it will behave. Two months, two weeks from now, three weeks from now. Mm. But the other two challenges <laughs> Prime Minister must address is more than the corona, our people will die out of hunger. We have food security issues, we have uh, no people have got low money with them, as Professor Chaudhary was you know, highlighting those issues. People lost jobs. What industry you can start, you know, just two, two days back we were talking to industrialists also in your show. And they were, they were saying, we can hire vice presidents, 10 vice presidents in 24 hours. But where is the worker? The so workers have gone back to their own hometowns. Because, you know, how hastily you announce without giving any notice, you announce three weeks lockdown. The second important thing we should consider, we should start thinking about it. India has a low capacity on healthcare. We don't have enough hospitals, we don't have enough... Just no enough. Yeah. So, Prashantji was talking uh, and, and mentioning about uh, the things. So, okay, Prashantji. We don't have enough hospitals. We don't have enough uh, uh, doctors per 10,000 population. A quick short uh, remark. We yeah. don't have so if that can, much of low capacity. Right. If you can complete your statement so within uh, two minutes. Yeah. Hello? Yeah, I, we will there? go in details. I think there is also some internet connection issue, connectivity issue. Okay. Uh, oh, sounds and sounds are gone. Okay, Prashanti, if you can, if you can complete Prashanti, it quickly. Prashanti. Yeah, opening okay. statement, so, and then we'll go into more details. Okay. So we have, we don't have that much of low capacity in our healthcare system that so far we have not conducted in even 200,000 tests. Just 1,90,000 tests. I am yeah. I'm really True. suspicious so about point, this. Uh, what is, this? Is, this, is this a strategy or is this absolutely. A, 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 a game plan or it's a, it's a carelessness? What is this? I am not able to understand. The motive of the government. Not it's such a big it. country. The third point is the kind of vicious campaign organized to divide society in such a period when we are fighting with the deadliest disease of this century and a newspaper in, in, in Karnataka has written something to invite genocide of Muslims, not without naming them, but it, it was, you know, very, very indicative. There are leaders, there are, you know, social media campaigns around the Bliki Zama, the mainstream media is still not leaving that propaganda. And we, we are, you know, just, you know, on the brink of becoming Rwanda. Okay. Uh, in such a serious uh, crisis. Prashant, so Prashant. Prime Minister should, should address this. Right. Prashant Tandon, senior yeah. journalist, will come back to you with more details. I want to go, uh, go to Lucia. Lucia, you have been uh, inside home, the entire country, Spain has been inside home for a couple of weeks now. How has the life been and how are people coping up with the situation? What are the motivations you are using under lockdown and what are the kind of supports and helps you have got from governments time to time? All right. Well, we've been at home for a month. Today is a month, actually. And we are going to be at home for two more weeks, at least, until the end of April. So, it's been a month. How are we coping? Well, you know, 
I think that each one of us, we find our own way to cope with the situation. Um, there are people who are in a very bad situation. Uh, mm. Many, many, many people have lost their jobs. So that's, that, is, that is a big change in your life. And uh, so there's a big difference between being at home and having your job, working from home, and being at home and having lost your job. That is, that is a very different situation. So um, in my case, what I try to do is I definitely, the way I cope with the situation is, uh, as I said, I am a teacher. So I, I try to, there are a lot of things that I can do from home and I try to have a structure. I definitely structure my day and um, I, I try my days to be as normal as possible. And, uh, but how other people are coping, well, there are a lot of, uh, 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 there is a mixture of, of emotions in here. Are happy, are people happy? No, they are not. Even though um, we are um, following the government instructions and we are home, uh, we still see that there are particular areas in the country like Madrid, Barcelona, where uh, the health system is overwhelmed, only particular areas. Where I am in the north, the health system is not overwhelmed. Not at all. But are we happy with the government? Well, we could have handled this earlier in a different way. We had Italy right here, and we didn't really pay attention to what was going on when people were already dying in Italy. So we could have done something earlier, yes. Um, now the government. It's true that the government have put a lot of money into the health system, yes. Um, and then there is a lot of money also to cover the unemployment. Yes, there is that. From your friend circle or neighborhood, uh, do you have, uh, are you in touch with some people who, who got infected by Corona and fighting against Corona or people have recovered? And do you also, are, in touch, are you in touch with or do you have any friends who have lost jobs recently in both cases? Yes. Yes. Okay. Many people have lost their jobs. Many people work in the tourism sector. We are in Spain, so tourism is extremely important in our country. And many, many people, everything is closed. All our bars, our restaurants, everything. So many, absolutely a lot of people have lost their jobs around everywhere. You see it everywhere. Now, I, it's true that nobody around me is infected. I do know people who work frontline, doctors, nurses, uh, who are pretty busy. And um, what I feel for the last week is that uh, people are emotionally down, emotionally. emotionally down. Sometimes when I talk to them or I want to check on them, they don't even want to talk about the situation. They don't even feel like talking about the situation because they are emotionally down. And each one of us, we are coping in a different way. For me, it's true that it works uh, like I continue my life as normal as I can. I follow a structure and I'm pretty healthy and I follow this routine of meals, sleeping, work, hobby. But I don't know about the rest, you know. I don't know I don't know exactly about the rest. What Madam I can Lucia, tell you, there are... Yes. Madam Lucia, I just wanted to know, as you say that everyone is feeling low, I understand that, but natural. In your case, in your country's case, the situation may not be of daily wage worker as in India. So largely, uh, people were on salaried classes. So can, suppose this whole crisis goes up to four, five months, six months, and people don't have jobs or income for five or six months, is the government sponsoring their salaries or are they living on, on their savings? How do you see the mid, middle class and lower middle class uh, managing their expenses? Okay. I think this is a disaster already. This is not a small crisis. This is a disaster for this country. And uh, how the government is going to manage. We are learning minute by the minute what's going on. Every single week we see the president uh, giving news about the lockdown, um, telling us about new measures, how we can cope uh, from a financial point of view. But I cannot predict what's going to happen in a month or two. Because really, we go week by week. Also, we are learning things about the virus every single day. 
We don't know if the temperature uh, really affects the virus or not. Why was it so hard and wild in Italy and Spain and not in other countries? We don't really know. So I'm very cautious about um, giving my opinion about the future because I don't really know. But this is a huge crisis and we know. Thank you. Uh, Madam Lucia, we'll come back to you. Mr. Yassin, uh, have, sure. yeah, yeah, we'll come back again. Yeah, Mr. Yassin yeah. Hassan uh, handles a very important thing. You are one of the core suppliers of the emergency medical uh, services that uh, any country is desperate to have uh, with the adequate number. Talking about the, you are not only serving Dubai, you are also providing your healthcare uh, services to Southeast Asian countries, many Middle East countries, and also you are managing some part of India. What are the kind of challenges you are facing? Because in India, there are a uh, lot of talks that there are not enough number of masks available. Uh, there are issues with personal protection equipments, PPEs. There are issues with uh, sanitizer. There are issues with vent ventilators and all. What are the challenges you are facing now in this uh, critical situation? Uh, actually, uh, Mr. Akram, it's a multi-faceted question, in fact, because yeah. we all depend for our protection into China. And that's a real big challenge today. They have come out of this crisis relatively better and early from, uh, you know, compared to other countries. But even today, everybody all around the world has to depend on China to get this stuff. This is a challenge. In this case, we are being a consumer state. We don't produce, we hardly produce something in Gulf countries. I'm talking on behalf of the complete uh, six Gulf countries, GCC countries. Uh, the UAE government, they were very wise. And what they did, they brought some patients when they were, you know, okay, in the uh, late February from China to UAE uh, to inhabit them here and treat them here and give them a better treatment. So they have made a fantastic relationship with China by foreseeing these issues. So, so far, we don't have any short of supply of okay. this kind of products because state to state, they have a very good relationship and they are supplying. Mm. Uh, but definitely, we are expected to have some shortage in future. Mm. Uh, and But the thing is that we are somehow we are managing it. And uh, addition to that, we are urging people or encouraging people to use the plot ones if they don't have a disease with a melt blown filter inside and which can be made here so somehow we can manage a little bit uh, this you know short supply of masks definitely those who are already infected have to wear a proper reply face mask we're talking about the normal people who don't have much problems as of now uh, have to manage things like this by seeing that this problem could extend up to a period of a year mm -hmm. so this is a long period, so we need to foresee that in future, or even the healthcare workers who are working in the hospital directly, uh, closely working with the patients, have to have the mask. If we all, the common man, going to buy and wear all these masks, definitely they will going to have a shortage, because uh, this morning, to be very honest, for the nitrile glove, this morning the price, what I've got it, is $70 per carton, which was bought uh, a week ago for $25. And as of now, the price is running. It's like currency fluctuations. It's running at 80, 85. <clears throat> and this is something, you know, no one can, uh, you know, really digest it. Right. So this is the situation. But luckily, we are, we are safeguarded. Uh, yes, no. right. One more, I, I wanted to ask you that we are, we, are, we are totally blessed in this condition because the government is giving a lot of support to us. Excellent. Anyway, I, I just want to check the sound. Uh, Dr. Saidu Rahman uh, is joining us from United States, California. Uh, Dr. Rahman, can you hear us? Yeah, I can hear you. But we can see. But you. my video somehow has some issues. Okay, okay. I can. So, uh, Dr. Uh, Dr. Shaidur Rahman is a scientist at Johnson and Johnson Vision, San Francisco, uh, San Francisco, California. Uh, Dr. Rahman, uh, we just want to. We have started long. We can you give us an account of what is going on in United States? The cases are very high. The total number of deaths are high. Can you give us an account? Uh, uh, about the situation? Well, um, as you know that we are also in lockdown for last uh, uh, almost 21 days. Our lockdown started on um, March 12. Oh, it's almost a month. Okay. So, the lo it's a United States is a very big country, right? It has a 50 states. So, different right. states reacted differently. Okay. 
California, first, uh, the case started in California. So California, we knew that in our, in fact, the first case is, was in our city, in our county, uh, which was actually five miles from where I live. So we were very cautious from the very beginning. And as you know, California is, uh, is a little bit different than any other state in, in terms of many technological and other aspect. So we were pretty um, cautious from the very beginning and our lockdown started earlier mm. than any other state. Okay. So that's the effect also you see in the number. That's the effect also you see the number. So really, really in this kind of situations, the social distancing is very important. So lockdown okay. started um, 12, um, um, around 12 or 15, uh, I don't know exactly, I forgot the exact date, but around that time. So, so slowly, slowly number increased. We, we was monitoring is from one, two, three, five, uh, you know, other state thought maybe there will be nothing happening, but um, that was not the case everywhere. It was uh, spreading things. I just got a number that um, just around January time frame, about uh, a lakh, uh, you know, in China, there is a uh, New Year's, right? Yeah, they celebrate. They, are, they have a different New Year's than, and than any other thing. So around and that time, around that time, a lot of people went uh, uh, back home and then came back. And in New York, I heard that almost like one, one, 90,000 people just came back around that time. Okay. And, you know, there was no... There was no um, lockdown. There was nothing. So it, it, it is, it's pretty clear that something is going to happen. Right? Okay. Uh, but, what is the definition of lockdown there? Is the public transport uh, on? Like, have you shut down your public transport or they are still running? Okay. Um, in California, the, the city where I'm living within 40 miles, public, lot, lot, public transport are very rare okay? okay most of us we use the car mm -hmm. uh, almost everyone there are some public transport but which is is uh, used rarely by people it's mostly empty mm -hmm. uh, although in the san francisco big uh, like a, in downtown there are some uh, um, metro people mm -hmm. use those <clears throat> however I, I, I can tell you that in us public transport is very little very rare, oh, so it is. But, uh, but but there is a diff difference between New York mm. because New York is a so crowded city, uh, and also the the government encouraged there to use the public transport. So that's why they have uh, some extend use of the public transport. However, in California, uh, very little public transport. Okay. Uh, and in many. So places. that means uh, different states are taking different measures. Uh, and different way of, uh, different definition of shutdown then. And I think... Uh, right, right. right. Our definition of shutdown is um, we are is at home. We cannot get go out for our jobs, definitely, e except some essential services <clears throat> okay. like medicine, uh, grocery, those are mm -hmm. open. Mm -hmm. And essential shutdown means all the restaurants are closed, all the other things are closed, but there are some definition of essential service like fire, fire trucks. Okay, um, all the medicine, medical facilities are open. All the groceries are open. So okay. that, that was one thing. And then, of course, our work. Uh, we, I am working in a medical company. Our company's research is is mm -hmm. considered as an essential business, and and our manufacturing concert considered as an essential business. Mm -hmm. So those two functions are still running and, and well maintained, well sanitized, all kind of precautions are taken. We have not seen any cases in our uh, facility. We have 400 people total. We reduce the number. Uh, we reduce the number such a way that um, we goes like uh, as a as a we maintain the distance of six feet in our office. Uh, and uh, very like out of 400 people, maybe uh, in one shift we have now maybe 20 to 30 people maximum oh, do at you, one time. So 
Okay, I'll come back to you, uh, Dr. Rahman. Yeah, Professor Choudhury and uh, Tandanji, you have also had some questions for someone, I think. Uh, I have a small question with all three our guests, uh, Lucia, Yasin, and Saidur Saab, that what they have got as a citizen, as an individual from their government so far. And hmm. my second question is to our uh, friend who has joined from New York, uh, from, Long, uh, from California. California. Hmm. Okay, so I just you know want to if if he can see our screen uh, today's New York Times. So, uh, what is going to be there in elections? Uh, how how Trump is you know now the rating has gone down. Uh, his approval approval rating has gone down, mm. and his goalpost is completely changed. Right. So, how what people are talking about his elections? Right. So, my two questions to <coughs> yeah. Right. Yeah, what have I you can, got from the government? Yeah, Yasin, Mr. Hassan. Yeah, uh, Mr. Prashant and Mr. Ujjal, you have uh, put forth this point earlier also. First of all, we are so much blessed uh, to be in this part of the world. The government, from the first instance itself, they have announced hundred billion support to the economy. And out of that, 1.5 billion support is for the banks and how it affects my life as an individual. Uh, they have called me, I did not call them, the banks have called me and offered me six months deferral of any payment, any loan payment, without a single fee, no interest, no profit, no charges. And that's one thing which everybody has to understand. Apart from that, since I does business in all over GCC, Bahrain government has started putting money in our, our account to pay three months salary to our employees, three months wow. rent to our landlords. So like this, and today the UAE government has slashed down 94 services fee into almost nothing. I can just renew my trade license without paying a single fee. And all those supports have been offered here and there is absolutely no issues with regard to this. And they are... Uh, you know, offering another support, which they are coming out in a day or two, to fast track the already announced projects. So they are coming out all the way. In that way, we don't have any issues. I hope I answered your question. Excellent. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mr. I think we should finish this question. I to ask. Uh -huh. no, they answered that. The other supplementary thing, there was news in Indian media that both America and UAE are wanting to reduce the immigrants from other countries yeah, so. and ask people to go back. And that will be a large number of people affected will be Indian origin people in US and UAE. So what is the scenario in your country? Very true. Very, very valid question, uh, Mr. Ujjal. Uh, uh, <coughs> the point is that the UAE government has already offered the flight service, the special uh, chartered aircraft to India to repatriate the expat uh, population over here, those who wanted to go back. It's not that everybody wanted to go back. The 90% of the expats wanted to be here because they are very sure another uh, you know, couple of weeks or in a month or two, they will come back to normal. But the, there are some people, they lost job. There are some people like in different segments, which you know, like in our India, like in our country. So those people wanted to go back or their visa is over or they are sick here. They are not able to continue here. Their family is back in India or some other place. The European countries have already offered uh, the aid for that. They are already uh, allowed their UAE aircraft to land in their country, like Germany and other places, and they are repatriating their population. But fortunately or unfortunately, I would say, the Indian government has not yet given the permission. Uh, of course, I can understand the problems what India is facing. They cannot just announce uh, for one country or someone else. But it is a very important uh, thing which you know, the government of India have to undertake now because these people are suffering a lot. Uh, till date, they are somehow managing because the Indian mission is doing an extraordinary good job by finding some special buildings as quarantine centers and everything. But as early, once this uh, you know, lockdown is uh, lifted in India, they have to arrange because UAE government has already said that we will not allow those people who have not supported their citizens of this country to get uh, out of this place. And we will not able to, you know, uh, we will not allow them to recruit more people from this country in future. So this is a serious issue the India government have to address and, you know, the, the, the take care of their population. Okay. So thank you so much. Uh, Ms. Lucia, uh, what are the benefits you got from the government? 
Say it again, please. So what have you, Prashant Tandamji's one question was that what have you got from the government during the entire lockdown? And he asked to all What the, are the, let, let me see if I understood correctly. Right. What are the rewards from the government? Yeah, benefits or supports or welfare, uh, you know, uh, schemes or benefit you got. Well, that is a little bit difficult to explain because there are many variations and there are many different cases. So mm -hmm. normally in Spain, in normal conditions, we have the government support when we lose our jobs. Okay. But that depends on the amount of time that you have worked, the conditions in which you have worked. So it's, it would be a little bit difficult for me to explain the different <coughs> categories where we fall. I see. Um, okay. But the thing is that basically the government has relaxed, um, let's mm. say, the um, conditions to get those um, payments, so mm -hmm. to speak. Okay. Am I explaining myself? My let's say that um, it's not as difficult to get to those uh, financial, to that financial aid. So if you lost your job normally in normal conditions, you will have to go through a process and you will have a particular time to go through the process and only in that time you can file um, all that. And now all those things are more relaxed. So mm -hmm. you can go through the process super easily. You don't have to wait mm -hmm. um, because they know that there are many people who, are, who rely on a salary and they need money. Mm -hmm. So uh, everything is more relaxed and there are mm -hmm. more money, but it would be a little bit difficult for me to explain right now the different categories where right. we fall. Let's say okay. that they just put, the government just put money into into that, so for us to get um, an easy file aid. What about EMI is being deferred and all? Has the EMI bank installments been delayed and deferred? Are you asking me in Spain yeah. Uh, yeah. what Jasin was explaining about banks? Yeah. I haven't seen that in okay. Spain, but um, look, I haven't been in touch. Listen, I okay. am from the education field right, and right. I've been in my house. Uh, so I wouldn't say banks haven't done anything about that. Okay, All right? uh, So, But as far as I know, mm -hmm. um, I don't think banks okay. um, have put so Not much. It. So money the famous unemployment spend. benefit that normal European companies provide, I think that is the benefit that uh, most of the Europeans or most of the people who are residing in Spain they are going to get. Dr. Rahman, uh, what are the benefits have you got in US? Well, uh, all, I hope everyone knows that Trump uh, announced two trillion dollar of uh, stimulus package, right? Right. So out of this two trillion dollar stimulus package individual person each individual will get almost 500 billion dollars of, of, of um, uh, benefit okay so personally benefit is giving cash almost 300 billion to coming to everyone's okay so how it how is do define the personal benefit everyone who um, last year filed the taxes Mm -hmm. Without anybody's request, they will get a check of twelve hundred dollars. Okay. On top of it, um, every kids will get five hundred dollars. Uh, so that's that's how they are calculating the the checks. Uh, so that whoever lost the uh, jobs or whoever who is going through some difficulties, immediately they have a cash in their hand. So each uh, so there are some uh, limit. Uh, on the on the salary that how who is income if somebody's income is high they will never get that things but the, there are some limit like I don't know exactly number like uh, ninety nine thousands or forty seven thousands if you are single so th those are the category but it's it's really like five hundred out of five hundred billions of those coming as a cash okay. out of this five hundred billion three hundred billion is 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 coming to the and in this case they are not discriminating whether you are immigrant or or whatever your status, you are getting the gas. Okay. So that is one thing. They are, um, uh, so also the bank is giving a loan to the small business to sustain almost like interest-free. Also, the brother says, like uh, Hassan said, 
our bank is, is actually calling instead of we call them that okay this is this kind of facilities available so so you know this is very very helpful that you have this situation but situation get tackled um so one thing individual cash another thing is the is the bank loan all the small businesses can apply the bank loan without any interest free our houses like if anybody got in, uh, affected our internet get free the company internet company says okay we'll give the internet free for next two three months okay. the phone company says that we will will supply this the the so you know there are there are a lot of things are available just you have to know and poke it okay. so uh, you can imagine two trillion dollar is not a, a small amount you know yeah, it's, so it's 60 percent of the like, indian economy and Fourteen hundred dollar, you said per month, which is around uh, more than one lakh uh, fourteen thousand Indian Indian rupees. Twelve hundred. Twelve hundred. So it's yes. more than one lakh Indian rupees. So that's a good right, amount. Right. It's a decent amount. Right. Uh, Mr. Sure. Mr. Mr. Saidur, can I ask you a question? Yes. Yes. Please. Uh, yes. Uh, after what do you, how do you look at the post-COVID period for the Indian immigrants there? I'm told that there is a mindset of the uh, regime. That uh, large number of H1 visa holding Indian immigrants will be asked to return to India. Um, um, well, um, I am a citizen. I have not checked that news, but I see that kind of news. It is. It is not the government is saying. I I know that H1B, the H1B visa needs at least 60 days to process. So what's happening now? The Indians or immigrants, those are now in the situation of like ending their job. They have to apply and that will take 60 days to get the job or, okay. or to get the, get the visa, right? So they have a 60 days to get the job and renew the visa. So what happened? This economy is slow. So probably if they don't get a job, legally they have to leave. Legally they have to leave the country. So yeah. it's not for everyone who are in the job. Government is saying to leave the country. Those who are in the situation that their contract is ending in this current situation and their visa is ending. Now everything is shut down. How will process in 60 days the visas, right? So the one scenario could be uh, you follow the legality of this country means you go out of this country. Okay. But if you can manage the job within 60 days, and if you can manage the um, letter and submit immediately to the USCIS, which is actually the um, yeah, got it, got it. Okay. Okay. Yes, yes. okay. The, 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 then, then you are secure. But if you don't Mr. get Sir, yeah, yes. Mr. Sir, that is very obvious. Understood. Yeah. Thank you for the clarification. The yeah. other question is, the US has more than half a million patients at this point of time. Right, right. And uh, still, I think it is not a 100% lockdown across the country. And uh, how do you really look at this? I mean, this is beyond emergency now. How are you looking at this? That Do you think the steps taken are enough uh, from the government side, from the law uh, enforcement side? This, that is a very good point, actually. We are a little bit concerned about U.S. currently because every state has their own uh, policy and some freedom. According to their policy and freedom, um, they are uh, doing uh, their best what they could do. For example, uh, now, uh, California started lockdown very, very early. So you see the number in California versus the New York, right? So, so, so. We are we are really bit, little, little bit in in panic that once the lockdown uh, since there is no lockdown in another state, this number might stay constant for a long time because in in one state will go down, another state will come up. One state will go that state will go down, another state will come up. So we might be seeing this number uh, from the US. Uh, might be a little bit longer than any other country because each state you can think as a country, um, and and each state is taking their own measure when to lock, how long to lock, is the number is really growing or not. So you know each state has a freedom. So I, I'm really a little bit uh, 
uh, worry that this number and everything might keep going a little bit longer than we expected. That's scary. Okay, and uh, Prasanji asked a question. How will this play up on the political scenario? Do you really think that there can be the election in November possible, uh, presidential election? And if uh, done, if done, now it is obvious Trump versus Biden. How, what sort of scenario do you look at? So, um, I'm not so much, uh, <laughs> I can't, I am not so much on the politics, but I can say that uh, it's, it's, it's everything now so much dynamic, right? Even we do not know what will happen after 30th of April, should we continue the lockdown or not, right? In any countries, uh, we do not know whether our job will be there after this time or not. So. We, it's very hard to predict what will government will decide the vote, uh, the election is going in November or not. That's, that's, that's the one thing. Other thing, people are, you know, $2 trillion is a huge amount um, right. that, that Trump did to save the economy. And, and um, I'm not in favor of uh, any parties, but I'm saying that this is a very good job he did that he okay. sustained okay. sustain the economy very well. Very good. Okay. Thank you. Madam, Madam Lucia, mm. can you uh, ask Madam Lucia one question? Uh, Italy, we find large number of senior age people uh, facing the problem. Larger number of people who died are old people, senior citizens. And is the same case in Spain? Is also Spain has affected the senior citizens most? Yes. And, and what sort of scenario? I mean, sometime in future, whenever three months or six months, some normalcy will come. As you say, very slowly it will come to normalcy. But some normalcy will come with economy. What major changes are you foreseeing in the economy four or five months later in Spain? Because your major Major? income is tourism. Your your one major income is tourism and marine, marine products and things like that. So how do you look at the economy five months down the line? Okay, from my point of view or from the government point of view? No, your citizens', your citizens point of view. Here's the thing. I think what's going on right now is because we've been in this painful situation at home, some people are very low, emotionally low, but there are many people who I think are growing. They are developing some, some personal growth. It's impossible not to, right? So I think that we are realizing, there are many people realizing that Maybe it's not a good idea to the right, rely on a salary, to live from paycheck to paycheck. Maybe you need other sources of income. Maybe you want to be self-employed. And I think there's a little bit of that going on. Uh, obviously, this is not something immediate. We are in the middle of the crisis. We are home. Um, but definitely, I think that there is a lot of room for improvement. Maybe not five months down the road, but five years on the road. If we get to understand that we need to be to have more um, more this entrepreneurship mentality and understand that we can be self-employed, uh, well, we have destroyed a lot of businesses have been destroyed right now, but we can create new ones. Maybe we can leave that situation of living okay. from paycheck to check to paycheck and be uh, transitioned to a situation where we are we have more freedom financially free we are more financially free so hopefully we are doing this growth personal growth which leads to financial growth too and this is what i'm hoping okay so that's the view of the citizen now we are at just five minutes away now i just want a quick uh, quick like one uh, minute closing comments maybe from every speaker so that uh, whatever points you have in mind you conclude it uh, maybe i start with uh, yasin hasan yeah your closing remarks closing comments uh, for me uh, in I one mean, minute point one point uh, mm-hmm. what uh, lucia madam lucia was telling see we have to be uh, positive in this occasion there are issues in the world everybody is facing it's not just one country every country all over the world is facing this we have been discussing about this point quite a lot but this excessive news feed to the public to be avoided because they are getting depressed, especially countries like India, which is 1.3 plus billion population, uh, 
see, definitely they have to come back. They have to fill their stomach and they have to come back to life. Uh, with regard to uh, UAE uh, or the Gulf countries, I'm telling you, we are really positive. I don't find any issue. Maybe in a month or two, they will come back to normal. Probably it will affect 10% of the uh, people and now they are living here. But we will come back for sure. Uh, Expo 2020 is supposed to be in October this year, but probably we are expected to have a year delay. And this will help us again to have a future activity uh, coming forward. So the people will have a little bit extra money to come and uh, visit Dubai and participate in this expo. And we expect everything is going to be really positive. I'm sure elsewhere in the world it would be the same thing. And, uh, you know, uh, all the way, people uh, have to be happy. They have to come back. As I said, the world order, the world order could change a little bit. Uh, you know, the capitalism uh, is actually, uh, in my personal opinion, is really eaten the world now. So the people have to be self-sufficient. People have to be self-sufficient. I would support, uh, with regard to India, I will still say for a country like in India, because it's a developing country, a mixed economy is better, not like you know, capitalizing everything. Because till date, after doing all these things, we are still have to depend on foreign countries and it is not really uh, good for us. And that's what I want to say, be positive. And let's wait for a positive changes around the globe. Excellent. Thank Dr. you Shai so much, uh, Akram, for giving Thank you, thank you so much. Uh, Dr. Shahid Rahman, your uh, final comment, closing comments, in one minute if you can conclude. Yes, what uh, Yasin Hassan said is uh, things will come back. Like if you have a flood and you are in the middle of the flood, what you will do? You tackle the situations, right? So it's the it, same thing like this. This coronavirus is all over the world. We just have to be patient. We have to be tackled. And I believe things will be better. And, and it's not first time human race is facing these kind of things. It, in the past, this happened. And still we survive, we still we flourish. And I'm very hopeful that that is the condition, that is the situation, we'll, we'll come back. And, and we'll be uh, again uh, flourish as before. Excellent, thank you so much. Uh, Professor Ujjal K. Chaudhary, your closing comments. We will be closer to nature. We will be more domestically focused, creating essentials within the borders. We will be operating as much physically equal to virtually. So digital and virtual work will continue almost equally as physically. We will bring down the cost of healthcare and education. Public health and public education will get a big boost. Essentials will be the focus. Luxury market will have a dip down. It will actually have a problem. Uh, essential market will grow up. Uh, uh, comfort market will be 50-50 sort of thing. Some of them will survive well, some of them will not. The stock market will see for the first time rise of healthcare companies, companies in digital uh, technologies, com uh, technology companies which make life better, and companies connected to food and essentials. Uh, I would think, I would hope that we will reboot and become better human beings. We will reboot and become a better human being. Prashant Tandanji. Very true. See, uh, as you read the history, a uh, new thought has always came from Europe. And I'm hoping that, you know, during this crisis, the worst crisis the humanity has seen in the last hundred years or so after the war, some new thought will come from Europe. We will also evolve. There, there are attempts to uh, do hate politics during Corona times in India. There are, you know, uh, 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 propaganda against religion is going on in, in, in media and in, in certain sections of mainstream politics. I think that these are, these are the temporary things. And the lobbies, the international lobbies, which support these kinds of hate politics, uh, particularly Islamophobia, uh, will be weakened. It will be weakened to support these things as worldwide. I tell you that in, in India, you know, let's be a little bit of you know, a political discussion on this at, at the end of the <coughs> show. RSS is doing nine politics of hate since 1925. And they succeeded in 2014 only when their agenda with the Islamophobia in West got merged. I think that this will this will have 
some positive impact in the in the western world and it will travel to india also and we'll have we'll have to see a new kind of politics okay. in this part of the world we'll have to wait to see that uh, but we hope that we stop uh, yeah islamophobia and, and and the hatred uh, madam lucia your final comment I'm sure. Well, I think that we can remove ourselves from this anxiety environment and climate. We can take a big, a deep breath, relax, so we can be part of the solution and stop being part of the problem. That's what I think. Thank you. Thank you so much. We, we should be part of the solution. So challenges always come. And this is, I think, every big challenge brings new opportunity. What we, what I understood from our speakers, I think this might... What Mr. Prashant has said, I just want to add a point. See, uh, we are expecting to have some ideas, new thoughts from Europe, but every thought in the world, let it be in Europe or any other place, we Indians also behind it. So let's put our, you know, keep apart the politics. Uh, I, I don't deny the fact of these ups and downs in different places of the world, but we are being an Indian origin new Western. I would say that we are, we will come out of some new ideas. Don't worry, along with the European. Excellent. Okay. Sure. So every problem brings new opportunity. I think consumeristic capitalism will, will have a tough time ahead. And more of a need-based uh, capitalism, I think, will flourish. And there will be more government control. But we'll have to wait and see. Thank you so much, panelists. Viewers, uh, thank you so much for watching us. Tomorrow again, we'll come back at the same time at 6 o'clock, uh, 6 p.m. Uh, in the evening. And we will talk about... Is the world heading towards a normal recession or a great depression? That's what we have to see. Our experts from across the world will join us and they will share view how the world, what is the degree and, and magnitude of recession that the world is going to see. We'll have experts from Washington. We'll have experts from Bangladesh, from Sri Lanka, from Nepal. And do uh, tomorrow morning, we have the news bulletin. Afternoon at 1 p.m. We have another show at White Health Tips. And the evening, we come at India Policy Show to talk about a major policy issue. Thank you so much. Keep watching the Policy Times. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Tomorrow morning we have the news bulletin. Afternoon at 1 p.m. we have another show at White Health Tips. And the evening we come at India Policy Show to talk about a major policy issue. Thank you so much. Keep watching the Policy Times. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. A major policy issue. Thank you so much. Keep watching. Thank you so much.